Keeping children away from gangs and guns, that's getting a renewed focus in 2024. City leaders and a first of its kind office like the Columbus Office of Violence Prevention are putting an emphasis on reducing violence. NBC4's Isabel Cleary shows us how one nonprofit is working with the city to achieve that goal. Almost half a million dollars is on the table to keep the Columbus Urban League negotiating peace and intervening before violence happens. The Neighborhood Violence Intervention Program is not new, but this year the nonprofit plans to add even more ways to support their kids. There is a renewed focus on ensuring that our young people have the right tools, the right necessary interventions, people to help work with them. The Columbus Urban League runs the Neighborhood Violence Intervention Program. This works to prevent and intervene in gang-related violence, reach peace agreements, and connect kids with education and jobs. One of the things we're going to do this year that we've never done before is we're going to have a graduation. We're going to celebrate the young people who come into this program. In 2023, the program intervened in 38 potentially violent situations. That's 38 extra guns off the street. That's potentially 38 less violent um, interactions that are happening. That's work the CUL plans to continue this year along with the city's recreation and parks department. We have one common goal and that is to reduce violence within the community specifically targeted to our youth but we also want to support their families. The CUL says this funding talk being so early in the year shows its importance. They understand that we have to keep our neighborhoods safe. They want to make sure that there is no interruption of services for us to continue to provide um, to our community to keep them safe. The ordinance to approve the funding was on its first reading Monday night at City Council. They plan to vote on it in their next meeting on January 22nd. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4.